A fisherman caught an 11 foot hammerhead shark in Florida with a fishing line. Sometimes fishermen like to exaggerate their catch stories, but this story has a video to prove it. Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte Dobre. This past Saturday, over the 4th of July long weekend in Panama City, Curtis Williams was flying his drone over the shore with the intention to get a shot of a sunset when he noticed a fisherman with something close to him in the water. He brought the drone down and realized that the man was reeling in a monster 11 foot hammerhead shark. Curtis went closer with his drone to get a better shot of the battle as a crowd gathered and watched in amazement. The fisherman reels the shark in close enough so that he's able to grab the shark's tail to pull it ashore. And by that point, the shark is exhausted, so it gives up. The video fades to black, which asks the question what happened to the shark? So, I know a lot of people are already upset about this fisherman catching a shark, but let me explain. Hammerhead sharks are a protected species. The fisherman, who did not want to be named, reportedly volunteered to reel in the area's hammerhead sharks and tag them for the national. Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. This helps keep track of the already dwindling population size of hammerhead sharks. The fisherman caught the shark, tagged it, and then released it back into the water. In fact, this wasn't the only tag and release going on in the area that day. Social media is full of posts showing groups of people capturing hammerhead sharks along the coastline. The Panama City Herald also picked up the story and wrote, The group out fishing are extremely experienced shark fishermen and women, and regularly volunteer with NOAA to tag and release sharks. So there you have it guys. No foul play here, just a really cool video of a shark catch and release. If you want to see it, it's posted down below in the description of this video. That is all I have for you on that, but I'm going to respond to some comments now from previous videos. Monkey Man said, Who else thinks that IO should make a comments of the week at the end of the week, like maybe on Friday or Saturday? I really like that idea. Who else thinks it's a good idea? Exploring with Angel said, If you were stranded on an island and only had 963,633 potatoes, which are your subscribers, would you eat the potatoes to survive? Wow, that's a, that's a tough one. So wait, so I'm stranded on an island with almost a million people. I mean potatoes. I probably wouldn't eat them. We would just make the island a potato colony. Okay, friends, that is all for now. Thanks for watching IO. Smash the like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel for all your trending news, and I'll see you in the next video.